Welcome to the uh, Super Spears Brothers. Uh, the uh, Master Drive is going to select us the game. Uh, okay. We're going to have an argument at the end to decide which game that we're playing is the best game. And at the end of this, once all the elimination rounds are over, we'll know the best game in the universe on Game Drone. Yeah, that's the purpose. Add, add echo. Add echo to that. Add echo to that. Add, no, no. Add, add echo. Echo. Add echo to that. Add echo to that. The fun, whoever wins the most number of arguments when this uh, project is done will not be killed by the giant robot, apparently. Yeah. So, yay. Brandon, your yeah. game is doomed. Okay. All right. All right. No, All right, now I got this. Like your game is Wolfenstein. Wolfenstein. Ha! Let's get jump right into the gameplay. Let's take a look at Wolfenstein Thrud. For the snsk. <laughs> Okay, so we have all things that we have to do. So now we have to do them. We're gonna go all the way up to maximum. <laughs> Mouse, right. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Mouse. Letting the master stage will not be easy. Start master. No, basically, yeah. Uh, you're killing Hitler, but he's not Hitler because the Germans would arrest you if you try to sell a game about killing Hitler. Yeah. And there's the other thing. I love his sassy eyebrows, I have to say. Oh. oh okay. <laughs> Uh, Don't, not quite sure how he even th did that. This is very reminiscent of that. Remember the pie in the sky software thing? Yeah. Th that was that 3D software program that allowed you to make games like this. Yeah, basically, it was. It came out in like '98 or something like that, but it ran on like, like basically Wolfenstein technology. Yeah, yeah. But it was. You know what? It was fun to make games in it. Actually, did, it did have more than that because it did have uh, elevators, didn't it? That kind of almost worked, but not really. And you could make staircases because you could make ele elevation changes. Yeah. Um, it was kind of like more at like the Doom level, but the graphics were very much like, look, this is like, this That's, is neutered Hitler. Yeah, <laughs> that is no ball Hitler. Dann zu erklären, sie wollten nun doch endgültig auf ihren Doktortitel noch gerne erklären, warum. Mittag dann der Auffassung waren. Oh, oh. I never really got, they also have taken out the blood in this game, but I'm not really, like, we're, we're not 12 anymore, right? Like, no. We in can... Doom, the blood makes a difference. In Wolfenstein, no. Really. Yeah, it's like you're killing Nazis. It's got that kind of, like, Indiana Jones feel. It doesn't need to be... Ah. Whoa, whoa, those things move really distressingly. <laughs> okay. Well, I can push against the wall. Yeah. It just doesn't have any sexy results. It just doesn't results. do anything. Uh, did you... I like you can see the seams in these, like, old 3D games. That's kind of fun. Like, yeah. it's because they're just 2D sprites that, like, they've... That using, like, some kind of weird... Because the weird thing, you look at this game and go, oh, this game's so primitive, but the tricks they use to make it look like 3D are so incredibly complicated. Yeah. Like, they have to, like, use this, like, shadow thing that, like, detects which pixel you are, and then, like, yeah, it's a huge engineers everything else in the level around it. It's a huge technological leap just being able to, like, be able to do this. Yeah, and it's kind of neat, actually. These secrets were originally, were originally going to be included, but um, the design of the game... Uh, Hello, Machine Gun Town Population Me. Nobody to shoot. Uh, John Comac. <laughs> Everybody's dead. John Comac really didn't want to have secrets in the game. Ah, he ah, couldn't ah, think of a way to make them work. Ah, um, but the rest of the team were like, no, secrets make video games cool. And so then he added the, okay, fine, you push on walls, like, really close to it before they start shipping it. <laughs> so it's like a really last minute thing. Yeah, it's kind of cool. Yeah. Uh, like, th this game really did pave the way for Doom by being the first of its kind. Yeah. And it's also, I don't know, it's fun. I like killing Nazis. Yeah. I gotta say, Nazis are fun to kill. You know, I, I wasn't really into them when I first thought, because I wasn't into, like, 3D. I thought, like, sprites forever. And yeah. really, these are sprites, though. Yeah. And I'm just gunning them down. Ha ha ha. I'm glad they've... sprites, I'm, man. I'm glad they've taken out the blood and gore, because now it's not violent when I, like... You should really shoot these nice non-Nazis in the <laughs> haze. Yeah, they're these not Nazis. German guys. Doesn't that make it worse? Just, yeah. like, shooting Germans, just because... Well, you're not allowed to have, like, swastikas or anything in Germany. Yeah, it's against the law, yeah. So yeah, uh, they've, they've loosened up on it a bit, but even in the new Wolfenstein games. <laughs> Thank goodness! That's one of those laws that I've been waiting for. If you had the... Th is that guy? Is that, no, no, that's, that's, a, that's, a, that's, a, that's a tree. Ah, that's a guy! That's a guy, and he's shooting me in the face. Oh, technically he's shooting you in the face. Ah, I'm shooting a tree again! <laughs> Damn you, trees! You just hate nature, that's the thing we want to say. <laughs> You know what? That's one thing that the Nazis did apparently like is like nature. They went like to go for hikes. They love to read. Uh, <laughs> I like that guy's like pose just a second before he shot. Yeah, he's, he's like, sassy. are you gonna kill me? Oh, buddy, you coming through here? Did Who you are you shooting? The, the one openly gay German soldier. I, I think there were openly gay guys in the SA, and that's why they were all murdered. 
like before the SS, the SS murdered the SA because mm-hmm. the SA were the shock troops that were just like from anybody. And I thought just because they didn't like low tax. Oh, I see. Did something awful? No, something awful. He got the name something awful because he loved the SA so much because he's a huge fucking Nazi. You heard us right, low tax. We're calling you out. You raise your taxes. You need to fund public services. Yeah. <laughs> We've showed him a thing or two. Something awful never gets revenge on people. <laughs> Yeah, I think so. You know, like, they've gone from wall meat to, like, floor meat, which seems like an upgrade to me, actually. I'd rather, if I saw a dish on the floor with food on it, I might That's eat it. That's true. If I dug, like, into, like, somebody's, like, basement and there was, like, a piece of meat stuck in the wall, I don't care how much, like, s- like steam is coming off that turkey leg, I ain't eating it. Yeah. Do, do you think... Oh. Ah, 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 oh. Hi. <laughs> Hello. What's going on over Ve- there? Welcome to our home. We have our a German accents are terrible. I'm learning. You, you know, I I was in Germany briefly, and uh, and there are quite a number of different German accents. Yeah. You know, this... none of which sound like what we're doing. No, but but uh, but they have some pretty goofy accents. In like yeah. the, the Bavarian accent in speaking English, I find just sounds goofy. To me. Yeah, that's the what was my handy. Handy. <laughs> Well, <laughs> well, <laughs> well, 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 <laughs> that's a funny joke, Brendan. <laughs> you should join the blue collar comedy tour. That is to be fail the design of pretty much every first person. Ah! 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 Guns for hands. He's got guns for hands. I don't like, I don't trust guns is this, for hands. Is this supposed to be Mecha Hitler? No, I think this ah! is too early for Mecha Hitler. Ah! This is some other kind of Hitler. Okay, so there's tons of health heal. Okay, so you can just uh, wall up and heal for a little bit. Uh, not for long, apparently. Bazooka! Bazooka Joe! No, you're gonna die, Blake. You're gonna die, you're gonna get it! Health, 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 so much health. Okay. Yeah, no, get out here, 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 get out I missed the door. I'm helping. I feel like I'm helping. You are not. You're helping something. Okay. Mini gun, mini. Why are mini guns better than big guns? Big guns should be better than mini guns. That doesn't make sense. What's funny is in uh, Fallout, ah! uh, if you get a mini gun, you need Jesus. big gun skill to use it. Jesus Christ, on a, a basket of. Uh, he doesn't believe in Hugo Jesus weaving. Christ. They've surrendered the faith in God to replace it with a faith in science. <laughs> and I, I have a faith in seance. Ah. I have a faith in Satan. Is that the same thing? Good God. Oh. Yay! You gotta give me a key. Yay! I did not think I would defeat this boss. <laughs> I think standing on a pile of health helped. You know what? We didn't get to Mecha Hitler, but we uh, we got to like Mecha Gobels. Oh, gold! Look at all the gold in this room. And an extra life. Jeez, that was a lot nice. of gold. All right. Well, so, we just paid for. Our well, vacation. we we beat one master super Hitler, so uh, let's go to, to uh, uh, Doom. Yeah. Let's go see what our doom- your ability to win has been doomed. Ha ha ha, BJ! Ha 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 ha, that's like Novak or- Wait, the scientists are building weapons? Why don't they have, like, people in manufacturing jobs? Yeah, have the scientists like... design the weapons. Oh! <clears throat> so, <laughs> so we, we saw a little bit of Wolfenstein 3D. Let's take a look at some of that doom, that sweet doom action. Alright. Oh, All this right. is a, this is a, this is a really faithful port. Yeah. It's very nice. Very nice. Very nice. nice. Apparently that's oh, coming God. back. No, I don't want it to come back. Uh, oh. So yeah, this is a flash port of this game done by some dude. In in Newgrounds. I think it's. I think his name probably appears somewhere. But... His name is like Ed Sheen. But who something. cares? He's a workman. He's yeah. among the working classes. We are master classes. <laughs> we are the <laughs> lords of the underworld. We are master classes of fuck up. We're that's masters it. of the universe. Yo, you guys want to learn something about fucking up? You better look at us, because we fuck straight upwards, dudes. Right up into the sky. Up. I can't remember how any well, we secrets. Have up, we have up sacks. Oh, ooh, wait. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Grunting constantly. That brings me back to my childhood. I, I kind of think that, like... When I was a member of Russell Crowe's band. You know, it's got really nice... Uh, I have to say this right off. It's gotten really nice, very organic-looking level design. Like, you're looking at stuff, you know what I mean? Like Through windows. Yeah, and there's, ah, there's some nice, ah, like... And this dude shooting you. Like, Wolfenstein has this kind of, like, really nice castle look. Uh, that's good. And, mm-hmm. and I'm not going to say which one's 
obviously I gotta say Wolfenstein's better, but uh, but because you have to be wrong with everything. You know. Well, no, I mean it. Came, this came out second, so it has like the you it know, has some it, iteration it, it, on it. It's not it's not first past the post, right? Yeah. We can't really judge them based on which one came. You know, which one was was new yeah that would be that would be obscene um <laughs> we want to kind of find out you know if you were going to play one of these games to start like, yeah as as of right this moment in whatever year this is yeah 2011 20. look look how they structured that so you walk in and this guy runs right behind an exploding barrel yeah so it's, it's like teaching you how to use the exploding barrel it's very, it's a nice explanation i mean it's pretty simple you probably figured it out by now but Doom, though, I never was into it as a kid. That's the one thing is that I will say is that I like the atmosphere of Wolfenstein 3D as being a bit more so sort of the Indiana Jones feel. Yeah. Never really. I know. I understand everyone loves Hell Demons, and why wouldn't you? Yeah. Um. Uh. I made love to one in season one, but then well, uh, in season two, he turned out to be bad. That's isn't it the opposite of what happened? That's no. It's I just some of the information. Some of the information there was incorrect. <laughs> um, You're a terrible Buffy scholar. <laughs> no wonder Giles fired you. Um, I just like to watch. Shut up. What's impressive about Wolfenstein is actually that it has any plot or story at all, and it, and it has so much plot and story to it. Yeah. Given that the game is essentially like, uh, you've never heard of this thing before. L like, you look at, like, older games, and they were just like, yeah, you just You're... are a spaceship, and you shoot. Because the, there hadn't been a game with shooting spaceships before. Yeah, exactly. So, so they, once, that's the thing about, ah, that's the thing I've noticed about plots in video games. Yeah. Is that they only show up once they're, when they're trying to do something that hasn't already been done before. Like if you just have like a puzzle game that has like an amazing new mechanic, they will almost never have a storyline. Is line. that poison? Not poison. Is it poison? I don't know. Let's we'll find out if it's poison. I also think this one. No, I'm, 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 I'm not big into Doom, but I will say that I that, that I oh, kind of yeah, I kind of like the level design of this better than like even something like uh, Dark Forces, which has pretty good level design. Yeah. Well, Dark Forces. Well, this is very Dark Forces right here. Yeah. But um, it's a bit more... Like, Doom is a bit more explore this area, and Dark Forces is a bit too convoluted in top places. Yeah. Um, hey, straighten the fuck up. Ah! 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 That was very homophobic, Blake. I don't appreciate that. <laughs> um... I would love if the if the plot of Doom was like... Like, all these demons attack you, and then it's like... The true villain is man. Is man. man is it's like it's like well there's there's evil demons on Mars that are they're like eating people in their flesh. Yes. Yes. But isn't man's attempt to dominate nature the most mm. horrific thing of all? And then like some eyeball flesh beast comes and goes <laughs> and you're like I think it's that. <laughs> That's the thing that I'm that I'm going to No. No, I do believe that man. Well, I've just gotten to the bottom of this horrible plot by demons from hell to come over into our world and take over. And the one thing I've learned is that man's inhumanity to man is really what defines society in this time and place. Did you run into another single human being the entire time you've been killing demons? Well, but did I have to kill them? <laughs> what was that? Yes! Yes! You, 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 no, there was zero percent this, situation you know, in which Brendan, Brendan, them. Brendan, Brendan, this us versus them mentality is really what <laughs> defines... <laughs> it's really the defining characteristic of man, and doesn't that make us truly the worst? Aren't we truly the monsters, not the slavering beasts that are literally tearing us asunder? <laughs> I think it is us. I think we all learned something today. We all learned that... Ah! ah, ah demons ah, shoot flames in our ah, face! Ah, <laughs> No, no, we were judging him. That was wrong. I was ah, ah. Whereas, whereas, I think you could argue that the 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 plot of Wolfenstein 3D is literally man's inhumanity to man. Yeah. Like that's you could actually make that point. Be like, be like, do you remember in that time, some time ago, where men, men and scientists and lady scientists who were wearing slightly less clothing, <laughs> slightly less, were designing weapons of war. And then the Nazis got a hold of those cyborg DNA laser tank lasers boxes. bots and created an evil Hitler robot. Maybe what we've learned is sometimes science has its limits. Also, the climate isn't changing, and vote for Hannity in 2017. So I'm actually, I think, lost. Ah, ah demons and monsters! Ah, okay.
But yes. Monsters, Inc. had nothing on this. Yeah. I thought Monsters, Inc. was scary. That would be, that would be like my new BuzzFeed thing. Yeah. I used to think Monsters, Inc. was scary until I saw this. And it's just like like, like, like demons tearing people's flesh open. And yeah, like, it's like Saw 7. I don't know why I thought that, that it was scary. Really, uh -huh. it's not designed to be scary. It's for small children. But... Uh -huh. And grown-ups that appreciate its reference-based humor. And pedophiles. Pedophiles like... Uh, well, it has, like has, has a cute little kid in it. Oh, that's right. And it's about sneaking into the children's rooms and that being delightful. Yeah, exactly. Monsters, Inc. You know what Monsters, Inc. actually proves? It's it, with all its marketing and it's the fact and the fact that like it can really sell itself to pedophiles. Yeah. It, tru <laughs> it, sh it, sh it shows us... I like where you just accept that on faith. <laughs> it shows us that really, man is the ultimate <laughs> villain. Truly, the monsters... Is, is mad. Ah, oh, there's a monster. <laughs> octopus of love. Speaking of the octopus well, of love. I was going to actually sing that, but then I got, like, an octopus stuck in my throat. So <laughs> even an that. octopus stuck in my throat. So did that schoolgirl, but we won't talk about that. That wasn't a throat, Blake. Is someone shooting for me from behind? Oh, no, they're shooting me I from behind. I like how side. you refuse to believe that Japanese tentacle rape could include oral rape. No, because... that's ridiculous, Blake. That doesn't happen. And, and you're just like, and you're like, it would be like, whoa, whoa, I've got a much darker, darker turn than, like, oral tentacle rape. We're going to go in somewhere, somewhere you haven't thought of. Yeah. You, you're talking about tentacle rape, but we're going to go into that as We're going to go areas. to, like, a new level, man. It's like, like, we're pushing the boundaries. I'm like the Bob Saget of, com uh, of uh, tentacle rape. Of comedy. Rape. Oh, man, that's I'm brutal. the Bob Saget of tentacle porn-based comedy. <laughs> so you give a god for you, then. <laughs> I'm the Bob Saget <laughs> of Tentacle Boy. <laughs> That's just to get back up, isn't it? Can you imagine how like insane it would be if like you were in like a demonic hellscape and you were like, well, maybe I'll shoot barrels. There could be, there, 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 could, there could might be, be some, something hidden behind there, it. Ah, there, ah. Could, there could be some boxes of medication inside. I thought maybe there well, was a secret. We played a fair amount of this game. Um, let's go to the verdict. Bands of sunlight, dappled sunlight. Whoa! Whoa! Okay, so we had some pretty good game. Whoa! We had a look at uh, Wolfenstein versus Doom. Yes. A really strong port of Doom, but I do enjoy the original. We did play ports of both, not originals of either. Yeah, yeah. Da, 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 uh, da, 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 da. We don't have a. We have our special guest here. Can we say hello to uh, The Craw <gasps> from uh, Masters of Unlocking? Hi, Dale! I dare, dare. This is my brother Daryl. That's my other brother Daryl. Old joke. In two minutes, we're gonna give you our best arguments for both games. Yes. I'm going to defend Wolfenstein 3D. Brendan's going to defend some dumb thing. Yeah, something named after a po 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 po. Do. Starting right. Now. All right, so first I'm going to talk about Wolfenstein 3D. I really enjoyed Wolfenstein 3D. It is the original. It predates Doom, and so it's really what opened the door for Doom and a lot of games like that. It's really started off the FPS genre. genre. While there was stuff before it, it really was the one, the, the hallmark. Um, it was, shut up. It was also the first 256 color for FPS, big, which was a big deal at the time, and it led the, whole, the, led the way for mods and muds because it was one of the first that was ever modified to add new levels, new content from fans. Without that, we'd never have Doom, and we'd never have all these amazing muds, mods, and all that kind of stuff that people have done since. The whole modding community adds a lot, uh, owes a lot to this game. Also, you're fucking fighting Nazis. I mean, it's some Indiana Jones shit right here. Everybody loves Nazis as the bad guys. They're the best bad guys, better than demons, hands down. Last boss is Mecha Hitler. How can you beat a giant, robotic, evil Hitler as the last boss? One answer, Blake. Multiple words, but one answer. Evil demons from hell on Mars, okay? That's the thing that makes Doom so good, honestly. It's not so much the fact that it's technically superior, that it's more advanced technologically, it came out a couple years later, blah, 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 blah. What makes it more impressive is the fact that it has such character and personality. Wolfenstein, for all of its qualities, and it is, it's really fun, it's a fun game, but it doesn't have the same personality and drive that Doom has. You can play Doom and understand exactly what these people were like and what, what they were thinking. The combination of like D&D, heavy metal, 
movies like Aliens and Terminator and all those things together really puts together like a sort of 90s ethos that you don't really get anymore and it's hard to get out of outside of small indie studios. The fact that it is a huge AAA release that completely redefines the genre, even more so than Wolfenstein. Wolfenstein set the ground, but Doom defined it and defined games for the last 20 years basically. It's powerful, it's way more fun, and the the super shotgun, dude. The super shotgun's amazing. Uh, well, you know what? We're out of time. So anyway, so that's the uh, that, those are our two arguments. Remember, we're talking about Doom, the original Doom One, versus um, Wolfenstein, uh, Wolfenstein 3D. 3D. We're not so worried about the Nintendo port, which does neuter a lot of that stuff. Takes out Nazis in blood. That's right. That's ninety so, percent of the game. So, but so which one of our arguments, Daryl, do you think wins the day? It's mine. BAM! I told you! It's, See, you can't beat Tom Cruise with a pool cue. I mean, you can, but it's expensive. You can. Uh, yeah, lawsuits, man. Don't don't piss off Scientology. Scientology is the one true religion. <laughs> anyway, don't sue us. Yeah, I want in your face. I'm in your face right now. I'm making you feel shame and uncomfort. Was that the right arguments? Did we defend ourselves well enough, or is there something we missed? Uh, let us know in the comments. Uh, or on Facebook, Twitter, or other social media. Mail us death threats, whatever. Put us on Pinterest. We, we don't care. We have no standards. Uh, so that was the end of our show, and uh, please come in next week, and I'll say uh one more time, because apparently I can't stop saying uh. Uh! Hoo! Hoo-ha! What is it good for? Al Pacino! <laughs>